Good evening, YouTube world. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody had them a good day today. It was a nice Wednesday here in Iola, Texas. Uh, a lot of people going to Wednesday night church and stuff, but uh, I wanted to get in here and show you. I'm working on some, trying to get in a few more recipes, y'all, for ideas for to you to be able to add to your Christmas table. And some of them are different. They're not the classic things or whatever, but these that I make, I feel like they go with anything you, they would go with your classic dishes, your classic menu, or like we're doing, we're not doing the classic menu for Christmas. So we got a whole bunch of different things going on that we're doing. But anyway, this is one of the soups. And this is the broccoli cheese soup, y'all. It's so easy. And most every time I've ever seen it, every bit of it gets eaten up, okay? But you're gonna love the ease of this recipe, okay? Get you a pen or a pencil and get ready because we're fixing to do it. Broccoli cheese soup, okay? All right, I got my a nice size pot here. It's not a big old huge one. Of course, you could double this recipe, you know, if you wanted to, but this makes a nice size pot of it, which is great just as an additive of a different soup on your table. Now I have a stick of butter here, y'all. I'm just gonna take me a little old couple pats of it like that. And I wanna get them melting in here, okay? Cause the next thing I'm gonna do is I have a half of a medium onion, just a half of a medium onion chopped up in here, okay? And we need to get this onion uh, sauteing in here. We just wanna do it till it gets clear. You're not trying to brown it or nothing like that, right? So, I don't know if I can pull the camera up a little closer or not. Let's see what I can do here, y'all, without having a disaster. Let me see what I got going on here. See if that'll help. Yeah, that helps a little bit, don't it? Okay, there we go. All right, back to business. Okay, melted our butter. We got half of a chopped onion. Let's get him in there. I love it when they're easy like this, y'all. But they, I don't mind it being easy <clears throat> at all. I like easy recipes as long as they're good, as long as they taste good, right? You want them to taste good. You don't want them to taste like they were easy. You want them to taste like you put some work into that thing. <laughs> so, we're going to get our onions cooking here. Stir them around just a little bit and let them... Let them do their thing there. Okay, so that was just a couple of minutes there. So now, I'm gonna go ahead with the rest of this stick of butter and just put it in there like that, y'all, okay? Drop that big stick of butter in there. So the whole recipe just calls for one stick, right? Get it down in there, get it melted. We've got our onion all cooked clear now. Get that melted down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna turn my fire down now. Cause I don't want it to burn my butter or my onions, right? Okay, there's our melted butter and our sauteed onions. That's in there. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, we've got that going. Let's see, we want to add our, um, let me double check on this on the steps, but I know this is how you do it. We did our onion. Now we're fixing to put our milk and our soup in there. So, and our water. So I have mixed up in here already, y'all. I didn't, listen, I didn't have uh, chicken stock, so I have chicken bouillon in here. So if you do that, be careful because that chicken bouillon is salty, right? So you be careful when you go to adding your salt in here because this is going to be salty as well with the bouillon in it. But that's going to be my chicken stock. I need one and a half cups of chicken stock. So you do whatever you want to. If you got some chicken stock in the can, that's good, you know. Um, but... 
one and a half cups of chicken stock, and one and a half cups of whole milk. That's what's in here, okay? We'll put it back down here. We're going to dump this in here now. Got it on low. Okay. There's our milk and our water. We're going to go ahead while we're doing that and add our cream of chicken. One can of cream of chicken soup, y'all. I'm get it in here. This is why I'm telling you it's easy. If you use this chicken soup, you don't have to do that flour thing, trying to put that flour deal in there, making you a roux or whatever, which is no problem for me, but I wanted y'all to see how easy this was. And I like it. It's cream of chicken soup. That makes anything good, right? Okay, now, just take you a whisk, and let's get it all mixed up and smooth in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire back up because I want to bring it up to a boil. Or bubbling. I want to get it bubbling. But you got to use your whisk to break up those pieces of chunks of uh, uh, cream of chicken soup in there, right? Now. We get it like that. A watched pot never boils, y'all. We're going to go ahead while we're waiting on that, and we'll add us some salt in here. I'm going to do that very lightly because I can add some more, but I can't take it out. Some salt and some pepper, okay? Get some black pepper going in there, okay? You just do that to taste, right? Get that going. Now, what I have, y'all, and you want to use fresh carrots. You don't want to use canned ones or uh, frozen ones. You want fresh carrots, and you want to cut them up in the little thin, the little thin strips. Okay? I think people call that julienne in them or whatever, but I just say cut it up in little thin strips. And you have the equivalent of a nice big cup of them. Okay? A good cup of your uh, little thin cut fresh carrots, okay? And now on the broccoli, you can use fresh broccoli or frozen broccoli in this. I happen to have one of these. This is a 10 ounce package of the frozen broccoli, okay? It's beautiful. It's ready to go in there. And, you know, it's that much. What do you want to call that? A couple cups, you know, you can really put in there as much as you want. How much broccoli you want in there? Because as we go along, we'll see if we need to add some more water to it for, you know, for it to be thinned out some. Once we, we still got to melt our cheese in there and all that stuff. But we got to let this broccoli and carrots cook in there. And that's where you have to turn it down and let it simmer and wait on that until your vegetables are tender. Okay? So we're going to get this to boiling or bubbling good, and we're going to add our vegetables. Now, I went ahead, y'all, and put me another half cup, just a half cup of water in there. Another half cup of it. So, on your water, you want two cups of water and one and a half cups of milk. Or you can do just the opposite of that. Either one. But I just added another half cup of water there to it. Now, it's starting to bubble and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots. Get them in there. And I'm going to add my broccoli. And we are going to let that sit there and simmer until that broccoli and carrots gets tender. Okay? You can even cover it if you want to, but just watch it, you know, and come check it every now and then. But uh, once it gets to bubbling good, that... That made it, that cold broccoli stopped it. But when it starts bubbling, you turn it down low and let it just sit there and bubble until your vegetables get tender. Probably about 25 minutes or something, maybe. All right, y'all. It's been about 20 minutes, and my vegetables are as tender as I want them. And I'm going to say this. Um, you are supposed to take this, if you want to, and puree it up in there with your one of those emulsion blenders or whatever. You can just take it and go around in there, and you can make it 
as creamy as you want, okay? But Buzz and I, we like the big bites of broccoli and carrot and stuff in there. We like it chunky. So that's a preference, what you want to do on that, right? And I wanted to show y'all something else I'm going to do here. Okay. Can you sit? Look. Oh, see, there they are. Cooked down like that, right? Get it I got them about like that right there. Okay? Now, I want to do this just to thicken it just a little bit. Okay? And I have some happen to have some heavy whipping cream in here. You can use half and half or some heavy whipping cream or something. And I'm going to just add me some in here. Because I just want to add a little thickness to it. A little more richness to it, okay? Do that. You don't have to do that if you don't have it. Don't worry about it. Or just use all milk, you know, use more milk when you're making it and stuff. You know, that makes it creamier. But okay, I have an 8-ounce block of sharp cheddar cheese grated. And I used the block, y'all. I absolutely suggest getting the block and using it. It's much better than buying the bag, but if you're in a hurry, you can do the bag thing, okay? So we're gonna just take it and dump our eight ounce block of grated cheddar in here, just like that. I'm gonna turn it down to low now. And now I'm just gonna take it and just get it stirred in there and let it melt, y'all. And that is how easy that is. Now, I'm telling y'all, would that not be good in a crock pot or whatever on the side for a soup? If you needed a soup for your uh, table for gatherings and stuff or whatever. It's delicious, y'all. And, and it, they will. They'll eat it up. But I'll show you something I am going to do. Let me see. Let me find my... smasher over here y'all I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna use it a little bit I don't want to smash up them big old chunks though see we we like them but I'm gonna take it and kind of do that just a little bit and give it a kind of break them down some but that way we still have bites in there right like I say you can take that blender and you can just blend it completely to a total creamy creamy soup if you want but we like it like this it gives it texture and the pot liquor is so good just to sip on and y'all that's it right there that is your broccoli cheese soup i'm just gonna take it up in this bowl that had the cheese in it so i can show it to y'all let me get over here make sure my cheese is all melted in there ain't gonna work get us a ladle here you gotta have a ladle for soup right look at that mm, mm, mm. I will hurt myself on this stuff tonight y'all look at that is that not delicious looking that is how easy broccoli cheese soup is to make y'all I hope you wrote it down I hope you try it and uh, it may be a soup you want to put on your Christmas table. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, everybody take care. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.